infinity. Where the dying takes form. Hey guys, welcome to another Form Affinity video. In today's video we are looking at Blender 3.0 and the new Maya Config Pro 1.9. So let's dive right in here. We've got a couple new features. The uh, biggest one being our Edit Poly Shelf. Um, by the way, I'm looking, looking at this through Pro Annie 1.2. Um, but it'll be the same with the standard Maya Config Pro. So here's the shelf. Um, essentially, you've got your polygons here. Uh, this is for adding polygons and image planes and whatnot. And then Edit Poly. So this has a Set Origin, Transform to Deltas. There's this Apply Delta Transfer, um, Join and Separate. Your, your X live symmetry is up here. Basically the polygons and the, the edit poly, this has sort of been split, but the edit poly has been added to with a lot of features. So, and the one to keep note of is this apply delta transfer. If we take this and apply it, it'll look like nothing had happened, but you'll need to go over to modifiers and you'll see it here. So it's been added. Uh, I'd like to get more features added to this particular shelf because uh, what it does essentially is it, it brings a lot of the modeling tools to to the interface so they're easily accessible there. Next up we have a big fix to the quad menu. So that's the quad marking menu. Um, I'm going to show you in 293 what it was doing. So if I hit it by hitting the spacebar, and I go to one of my orthographic views, let's say right. If I wanted to go to one of my other views, we'll say to the front, it takes me out of orthographic. So if I'm once again in like, let's say left, and I go to back, it takes me out of orthographic. So that's been fixed in the newest version, 1.9. So if I hit spacebar and I go to right, and then go over to left. I'm staying in orthographic, no matter what, um, what which one I choose. So, and to get out of that, you would just hit the toggle, perspective orthographic toggle, and that'll take you out of whichever one you're in, if you want to go back to perspective. Along with the quad menu, there's been a an addition to the quad view. So, before we could frame a selection, it would frame on all regions. So that is done by hitting the F key. If I zoom out on all these, it just frames everything. If we hit Alt F, we can frame just the individual view. So I'm just hitting Alt F. So that, that'll come in handy uh, for different circumstances. Or it might just be uh, personal preference. So that option is there for you. Next, going over to UV editing. Uh, if I click on our editor here, uh, we can now use the Alt middle mouse to pan and the Alt right mouse button to zoom in and out. So just like Maya, that's pretty cool. Also, if I go over here and create a lattice, click on our lattice, we now have the, the QWER tools are available in the lattice. So when you're in lattice edit mode, essentially. So that's a nice new addition. Next, we have a new move uh, hotkey or shortcut, which is just the middle mouse. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this, uh, if you like this. Uh, it's essentially, so what we have in Maya is our transform tool, 
or at least this is what I usually use in Maya, which is set to, of course, the W key. And you can, you know, move on a single plane or select the circle and move on all. Uh, now you can hit the middle mouse outside of it and move wherever you would like. And you have at the bottom, you'll notice down here, there's a bunch of options that come up. And this is sort of a blender uh, feature that you can, if you hit, for instance, Y, it'll constrain to the Y plane. Or if you hit Z, Z X, uh, it'll constrain to those planes. And there's other options down there if you look while you're doing it. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, as long as it doesn't get in the way of any of our other hotkeys, which I don't think it does, but let me know. Okay, and lastly, we just have, which is not really visible here, is uh, a lot of fixes to, to make this version 1.9 uh, function with the new Blender 3.0. So uh, 1.8 was essentially breaking with 3.0. There's a lot of layout issues. Uh, everything was in sort of a disarray. Um, so a lot of that has been fixed. And yeah, we've got all of our layout issues fixed. Uh, there was some some features not working, but if you do run into anything, since this is a, a brand new, uh, you know, 3.0 is a pretty big upgrade to Blender. If you run into anything, feel free to leave me a message either in the comments below or in the Discord channel, and we will look at updating that as quickly as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy the new features and all the upgrades. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Looking forward to your thoughts and we will see you next time. Thank you.